All right, we live. Come on. All right, Shalom, Shalom. All right, we uh the brothers down here in uh, GMS Tampa Bay. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakagodash. Double honor to Apostle Great Millstone, who are well, the tallest of truth. Peace, love, and blessings also to you, brothers on the highway, for always getting intelligence to make that call and lesson short. And also, blessings to you, few sisters out there listening and learning. Okay? And I'm going to just read the first precept, get, uh, hop right into it. Uh, this is uh, St. Luke 19, verse uh, 13. All right, and it reads, and he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Okay, bless the spirit. Occupy till I come, man. All right, because Yahweh Shai is here, all right, uh, uh, more than ever. Okay, so we as, we as servants, all right, we as uh, hopeful men elect. All right, we, we believe we are the prophets, so we have to occupy until the Lord comes. <clears throat> okay, so we have to keep uh, uh, exalting the names of Yahweh Bashan Yahshai. As Elder Apostle Gohar said earlier today in one of his lessons, you know, we have to uh, keep pushing these prophecies, keep pushing these prophecies. All right, and that's how we uh, uh, push Yahweh Bashan Yahshai. We exalt his name, we push his word, and we keep pushing these prophecies because why? Through, the, through their spirit, all right, they have uh, uh, revealed these prophecies unto us, man. So we have to keep occupying, keep keep a uh, keep the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai out there, keep putting that vibration out there until he actually come to physically manifest manifest themselves because he he's coming. So we have to keep you know occupy, keep the people thinking about Yahweh Shai, keep his name re re uh, uh, relevant, man. All right, uh, uh, as 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 uh, in old times, you know. His name wasn't well known, all right? So right now we're pushing his name, all right? People now starting to wake up his name. They're now starting to call on Yahweh Bashmi al They're now really starting to, to call on the name uh, of Yahweh Bashmi al man. Okay, so now that name is going to be glorified. But until then, until we actually come back and, 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 and physically glorify himself and uplift himself, as he said he would, he will glorify himself, we have to occupy till he come. So we have to keep... Uh, uh, how about you all try relevant, man? And how do we do that? By uh, uh, teaching his word, all right? By pushing forth his truth, occupying till he come to, 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 to be uh, uh, busy with something, man. I forget the exact busy meaning of, uh, you know, what's it? Meaning, no, no, to occupy, to mean be uh, occupied with something. Going to the word occupy. You got it? All right, go ahead. It's uh, a word from the uh, mid 1400s. It says, uh, quote, to take possession of mm -hmm. and retain. Yep. Yeah. To take to take up space or room or time. Yep. Yeah. Employ someone. Yep, yeah, because why? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, as I said, he's been a long time holding his peace. All right. He haven't he, the, he haven't really visited the, the world yet. All right. He's been, you know, uh, uh, sitting back for a minute. All right. Now, he, as I said, 2 Kings 15, I will hold my tongue no more. And that starts with the prophets. So we have to hold. We it's a it's a line we have to hold. We had a spiritual war. It's a the front line. We gotta hold that line, man. We have to hold that line and continue to, to occupy until he actually comes back, man. All right. So, All right quick read, sir. Go ahead. This is uh, the book of Romans, chapter twelve, verse eleven. I'll start at uh, verse ten. Romans twelve, verse ten. Be kindly. Affectionate one to another with brotherly love, honor, preferring one another, not lawful in this, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Okay, real quick, um, get the word there for business. This is said, be not slothful in business. The word there is uh, G4709, Spuda, and it means haste with earnest, earnestness, diligence. Okay, so. We're not slothful and making haste, which is what? This is the to the coming of the day of Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, man. So what are you supposed to be doing? First and foremost, not slothful in business, okay? Be occupied. Yeah, he's <laughs> occupied so I come, man. Because you occupying yourself with with something, that means you're, you're, you're something that's towards the Lord. That means you're, you're working towards him. You're serving the Lord, man. 
How can you say that you serve the Lord, but you do not his works? Okay? And, and real quick, um, the, the, because the scriptures even talk about leisure time. You know, when you do have a, a time to, you know, so to say, relax, what are you doing during those leisure times? Okay? Are you serving? Heavenly Father, are you doing what you want to be doing? Okay, because this is, you know, this is a, a prophet. is isn't just a type of you on your on yourself when you go out to the camps, man. It's not a prophet. You're not just a, a fool. Let me put on my, my button that says I'm a prophet. Let me put it on now. now let, let, no, man. Being a prophet is, like the scripture says in Jeremiah, the Lord has, known, has chosen you from the beginning, man. Since before you was in your mother's womb. So this is this is a, a lifestyle, not a job, okay. And as we quickly approach the, the last days, hey, shall like the how I said, shall I find faith upon earth, man? The Lord is getting ready to uh, he's fighting uh, the the his sheep from everybody else, man. Because this sheep wanted first and foremost going to hear his hear his uh his calling, man. Okay, which is calling do his work, do it, do my bidding. Which is what we're doing. Lord's will we be those men. Alright, this uh Matthews 9, verse 37. Then said he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous. Because it's a lot of stuff happening right now. Okay? A lot of prophecies taking place. So, you know, here it is, we at the end, and you know, just on a, a, a physical sense, like the flesh should be like, hold on. You know, hey, we out of here so we can just kind of kick back and, you know, and breeze through. No, we at the end, it's actually more work to be done now than it is more than ever. The scriptures speak about the uh, the book was open before the firmament. Okay? You got a lot of people waking up in these times. A lot of people seeking the Lord. Okay? A lot of stuff is happening. Esau's moving, moving at a fast pace. Okay? And at the same time, got people waking up every day just coming to this thing so we have to constantly push push out this work constantly do these videos man we are the laborers man you know we we are the workforce going once again we got to be occupied in this okay so it says the harvest is uh then said the unto the disciples the harvest is plenty so it's plenty of work to do especially now more so than ever it's plenty of prophecies taking place so it's, it's plenty of things to speak on okay it says, but the laborers are few. Okay. Uh, verse, the next verse, it says, um, pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into the harvest. So we've come into this, this, this harvest, what's labor? Okay. It's ripe. Right. So uh, go back into Luke 11, 19, it's like 19 verse um, 13 again. It says, it says, and he called his 10 servants and delivered them 10 pounds. And said unto them, Occupy until I come. All right? And that's, hey, that's what I got. You know, the next brother. Okay. I got a quick. Oh, go ahead, bro. All right. Uh, going into the book of First Timothy uh, 4, uh, starting at verse 11. It says, These things command and teach. Verse 12. Let no man despise thy youth. But be thou an example of the of the believers in word and conversation, and charity, and spirit, and faith, and purity, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. All right. So this is what the brother has been going. Uh, he's been going into hinting until uh, Yahweh Shai comes, his second coming. All right. What should your conversation be? All right. You should be in the faith. You should be uh, 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 be an example to the believers. All right, because like the brother said, new believers are coming in, they're waking up. All right, so this is the time that the workers, uh, uh, is supposed to be working, right? It's yeah, put, you know, putting up videos every day, you know, if you can push that, you know, that's the goal, push for to put up videos every day, man, because it's we, you know, the herald, we're heralding the coming of the Lord, you know, ringing the alarm, <laughs> you know, go ahead. Yeah, because uh, my brother Quan brought that reminds me of uh, Occupy. One part said uh, to employ someone. You know, so you're going to uh, employment. Ultimately, you're going to occupation. You know, so you say that you know uh, the spirit of prophecy is subject onto the prophet. You know, we believe that we're, we're the Lord's servants and prophets. Speaking about others and passing on down, what we're supposed to be doing, we're supposed to be prophesying, right? 
So I'll, I'll get this the precept is Hebrews chapter 10 and our verse 23 it says, Let us hold as the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. Right? So, you know, going to profession, you know, ultimately, you know, professing and you're declaring something. The brothers talk about, you know, heralding the kingdom, you know, but, you know, your profession, think about your faith employee, right? So, our hire, okay, you know, us going into, uh, again, hopefully, being the full service prophets. Why to prophesy? You know, every man is uh, his talent, Lord's money that he's given us, uh, pretty much alone, bring forth fruit. Right? What? Fruit meat for repentance. You know, because again, you know, going into prophecy that a majority of people are going to wake up very soon via the Lord giving his men spiritual powers, giving them the ability to heal and do miracles, right? And they have a lot of questions, you know, going into the influx. So that's why the Lord needs strong leaders to be able to handle that, you know, when, when pretty much the, the, the labor, you know, gets heavy. You know, people are going to start asking simple questions. You got to be able to be, you know, able to bump yourself and, and deal with them because they never heard this stuff before. You know, men that have been doing this thing for 20, 30 plus years still, you know, speak plain language, you know. So that's really the expectation that the Lord is doing as far as grooming us to be able to lead the greatest people upon the planet Earth, right, going into his lives. But uh, that was a quick piece of that. Hey, and, you know, that workload, that's why you got, you see the spirit on El Tahar, you know, go back into those breakdowns, you know, stuff like back to the basics, you know. All, all those things, you know, continue to prophesy, bring, keep bringing out those prophecies, okay? Because right now things are happening, all right? And the elect are, are, are going to inquire, you know, what's going on? You know, the elect are going to go searching, all right? The scripts say they have a zeal, so the elect is very zealous. So now in these times, what they're seeking and searching after the truth. Now, if they be of the elect, you know, they're going to be brought to the, to the gospel, to the, to the, the truth, okay? And we, you know, it, it has to be food out there. You know, that's why our scriptures say, uh, be uh, instant, in season, and out of season. Okay? So I got this real quick. This is uh, Revelation 2, verse uh, 25. It says, but that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. Okay? So here it is now. I was watching the brother video. You know, that which ye have, hold fast till I come. I was watching the brother video. And pretty much, it's like, you know, here it is, we in the times where these prophecies are, are taking place, and you got, you know, the news, the media, you know, uh, uh, is losing grip of the narrative now that, you know, uh, uh, more people are watching more alternative alternative news, okay? But you still got a lot of people still watching the news, being scared by these whole uh, numbers that they propping up, uh, uh, going with this whole CVID thing, okay? So what, that which we have, hold fast, what the prophecies? Okay, everything that we've spoken of, all the things that we prophesied is going to happen. And that's a that's an act of faith, right? That's that's the good fight of faith. Because we're fighting, right, to what? To, to, to hold on to this belief, to hold on to this gospel, to hold fast to what we've been taught and what to keep striving for to it. So here it is, we at the end now. You know, don't be questioning whether, you know, this thing is, it, you know, is this really going to happen the, the, the way it's happening? All right, yes, it's, it's, it's going in the direction that we have been prophesying, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's going in the exact direction. So we have to be confident in what we're saying, man. We have to be confident in these words, confident in this gospel, confident in these prophecies, okay? That the RFID chip, the mark of the beast, is coming, all right? All lead, all roads lead to the mark of the beast in that age. And in the midst of that, Yahweh Shai is going to return. So that what we have, hold fast till he come. So you can't be wavering now, like, oh, you know, question at the end, like, oh, I don't know if this is really going to come. Like, look, we got the truth, okay? Everything we prophesied is going to go in that exact direction. It's, it's going to go that way, man. The prophecies are going to fulfill, are going to be fulfilled. The Lord is a man that he shall not lie, okay? Stick to the words, so read that again. It says, but that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Okay? So once again, going back into occupy till he comes. So it's like, you know, we at the end now. And, you know, bro, we just, you know, you, you sit back and think, yo, we just got to hang on tight. He coming. Just, just maintain doing what you're doing. Watch after the fuck. All right? Uh, uh, cause when you go into that parable, Matthew's the 19th chapter, all right, and like around the 13th verse, 
anytime any brother got something, let me know because uh, I can keep going. But uh, I got something. But all right. Yeah, real quick. This point, Matthew's uh nineteen. Uh, it's like in Luke nineteen and thirteen, because that whole point of occupying till he comes. And it reads uh one sec, Luke nineteen, verse thirteen, and it says, and and he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him. And sent a message after him saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he was returned, received and having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then the then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto them, Well, well, thou good and good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority in cities. And what? That's that's that faithful servant that took the Lord's money, all right, and traded it, and, and he gained. Okay? And he... Say it again? Fruits of his labor. Yeah, fruits of his labor. So he, he gained, man. Okay? So, you know, whatever. That's why, you know, seek your own salvation with fear and trembling. Everybody got their own channel. Everybody putting up their videos. All right, and you might have one or two people that just fly by and watch the channel, whatever the case may be. But that little bit, you you constantly putting up videos that's you watching after the fuck. So you that little bit that you have, you have to occupy that till they come. All right, and at the same time, you have to check yourself. You have to examine yourself. Yeah, you, you have to stay in the spirit, and at the same time, you have a flock. All right, that you have to look after, and you do that by feeding them every day. What you how should I ask Peter? If you love me, feed my sheep. So we have to, it's like we juggling. We have to maintain the, the state of the flock until Yahweh Shah returns, man. You know? Because he's near. But we have to occupy. It's, it's like, you know, it, it's like, you you know, you getting, you getting, uh, uh, the anticipation is so heavy. You know, it's like, man, it, we so close to the point, you know, we get lack, lackadaisical, but we can't. You have to maintain that little bit that you have, just that little bit. And what you've been faithful over few, the Lord will make you Lord over many. But you have to maintain it. You have to endure unto the end. Okay. Uh, real quick, uh, this is uh, you brother Ariel. You had something. It's gonna be a minute, so go. It's 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 a, it's a few scriptures. So go ahead. Okay, okay. This is uh, Isaiah two and verse six. Isaiah sixty-two and six it says, "I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace." Day nor night, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Okay, so ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, man. And he said, neither held their peace, or which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Okay, and that's what you're supposed to be doing, man. Making making mention of the Lord, because, matter of fact, let me keep reading. It says, uh, verse 7, it says, no rest till he established, and he... To, until he made Jerusalem praise in the earth. And real quick, let me read up above to um, verse 1. 60, Isaiah 62, verse 1, it says, For Zion's sake I will not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest. So the Lord isn't holding his peace, and the Lord is not, is not you know, taking his rest. Then what, why are you at peace? Why are you, why are you holding your peace? Why are you resting? The scriptures talk about this is not our rest. Okay? There, there's no inch or ounce of your body that's at, at rest right now, man. Because the Lord ain't. The Lord ain't at rest. The Lord ain't holding his peace for our sake. So the least we can do is is not hold our peace and, and, and be, uh, you know, um, what's the word? Uh, be productive in, in the job that you've been given, man. Okay, for lack of a better term, but being productive, okay, in this thing. Okay, because I use the analogy, the scriptures talk about this being living waters, man. There's no there's no life in stagnant water. You find a little retention pond, and all you're gonna find is a bunch of scum and maybe some 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 abominable shit in there. But you're not gonna find life. Fish can't live in a in a in a in a that had that, that, that water isn't moving. There isn't oxygen flowing through the water, man. Okay, and that's how this word is. This word that it, like the Lord said, he who um, called upon my name out of his 
shall flow rivers of living water, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, the word is the scriptures say flow. So that's 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 in reference of, of, of movement. Okay? And in this truth, that's how you have to, you have to be in that moving spirit because you gotta you gotta be doing the uh, the job, man, the work. Okay? Not holding your peace, not being on your knees. Okay, it's like says that there's many men out there. Okay? But uh you got it uh, uh Whoever got next. Con, um, yeah, good point though. Um, so in the book of Sirach, and I believe you quoted it a little earlier, my own, the book of Sirach, the 38th chapter, the 24th verse. I'm gonna read on down though. It says, The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure, and he that hath little business shall become wise. So it starts with what us in our leisure time, like the brother Kanakala was saying when we started off the lesson. That you know, we got to be occupied in, in serving Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, occupied and in, in feeding the sheep. This is our job. This is the only job that the Lord really gave us to do. All right. He said, he, he said You love me, feed my sheep. So now, here it is. You, the brother, brothers, like the brother said, we got our own channels, our own separate channels uh, that we have to tend to and, 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 and keep, and, you know, keep the spirit flowing on them. You know, you might have a brother or two that watches them. Hey, you got to feed that brother. All right. So we occupying. We're occupied in 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 uh in the labors of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai rather than occupied in the in the in the manner of the world. I read it again and read on. It says the wisdom of a learned man comes by the opportunity of leisure. So in your leisure time, what are you doing? You're 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 building up your spirit. All right. And it says, and he that have little business shall become wise. How can he get wisdom that holdeth the plow, and that glorieth in the gold, and that and drive with oxen and is occupied in the labors and whose walk and whose talk is of bullocks. M meaning that if you're just occupied in, in worldly, in your worldly work, okay, we all have jobs. All right. I'm not trying to be a hypocrite. We all have jobs out here and we all have to put food on our table. We have our own business. We have to do in the world, but we balance it out because really the, the only work that really matters in this day and age, where we at right now is the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. It's, it's pushing out the prophecies. The, the 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 duty of a prophet, all right. We are we are the watchmen, and and like the brother just read, we we ain't gonna be holding our peace day nor night. We over there, we we we're pushing, we and we we're, we're um exalting Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, but blessing the holy name, and that's the only real thing that's on our mind right now is is it's the kingdom of heaven, it's the end prophecies, is is righteousness. Those are the things that are on our mind right now, and so those are the things that we wanna that we wanna always talk about. Those are the things that we always wanna be be occupied in is righteous work. That's the only thing that really matters. Everything else is is neither here nor there. Yeah, we got to work. All right, you know we, we got to put on the we got to put on the the uh the mask of for, you know for work. You know when we go out in the world and deal with people, but ultimately where our mind is at is occupied in the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, not in the works of you know oh we got to plow the field and oh I got to count I got to count my money and all that. None of that really matters right now. It says in verse twenty six it says he giveth his mind to make furrows. And is diligent to give the kind father, father. So every carpenter and workmaster that laboreth night and day, and the, and they that cut the grave seals, and are diligent to make great uh, variety and give themselves to counterfeit imagery to watch and finish a work, and and then it goes on. You know, basically, um, I'm gonna get a point though. Let me just cut through a little bit. Let me skip down to verse 31. It says, "All these trust in their hands, and every one is wise in his work." And without these cannot a city be inhabited, and they cannot dwell where they will, nor go up and down. They shall not be sought for a public council, nor sit in a high congregation. They shall not they shall not sit on the judge's seat, nor understand the sentence of a judgment. They cannot declare ju justice and judgment, and they shall not be found where parables are spoken, because they're not they're not they're not doing the, the will of Yahweh Shimi Al Shah. That that's not really their occupation. Their occupation is this and that in the world. Our occupation is the is the is the hand of ju is the judgment, you know, justice, and 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 you know we sit in the councils basically of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. In the last verse, it says, "But they will maintain the state of the world, and all their desire is in the world." Uh, so, like, yeah, it's in the work of their craft. So, so their desire is in the work of their craft of their hand, what they can do with their hands. Oh, I can, you know, yeah, I'm a carpenter. I can do, you know, I build houses. You know that's that's all you're occupied in. That's all you care about. You don't care about the prophecy. You don't care about 
the uh, um, the digital currency about pop off. You don't care about World War Three. You're not even focused on that. You're not even paying attention to that. You're not paying attention to the to everything going on in the world right now. You could care less. You you oh you want to care about oh I got you know these different contracts that I got to fulfill. That's all you care about. So the, you know that's your occupations. But I'm gonna go into the first verse of the next chapter. You know, you brothers know what it is. Uh, Sirach chapter 39, verse 1. It says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and will be occupied in prophecies. So those that's the that's the lot of the prophets. That's our lot. And it's a heavy lot. I'll admit, nobody asks, you know, we, none of us ask to do this. None of us really, you know, Oh, yeah, I want to be a prophet when I grow up. No, we all had our different ambitions when we was growing up as youngsters, you know, and became men. You know, we wanted to do different things in the world, but the spirit had us to to uh what? To serve the most high. All right, and to be occupied in the meditation of, of the law and to be and, and and to be occupied in prophecies. That's where our mind is at. The end of this place, not keeping it going on. We don't want to keep this place going on. All right, we want to see it end. All right. Well, we want to bring in the righteous kingdom. So we're our, our, so we have to uh, uh, basically hold on to our duty as a prophet. All right. Because we're all individuals, but we all have our, we, all, we all serve the same power and we all have the same end goal, which is the kingdom of heaven. And for, for this place to ultimately fall. And so that the righteous kingdom could come in. But the only way the righteous kingdom could come in is if we prophesy. That's the only way. All right. Um, you got it, brothers. Hey, real quick, uh, to add on a little bit, because I actually had that precept, I want to uh, read verse 6 through 8. It huh. says, um, "It says, when the great Lord will, he shall be filled with, this, <clears throat> with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentence and give thanks unto the Lord and his prayers. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and in, and in his secrets shall he meditate. Huh. He shall show forth. Show forth that which he have learned and show glory in the law of the covenant of the Lord. You know, and like the brothers was going into, you know, uh, being occupied in um, being occupied in this here prophecy, you know, being occupied in this here work. You know, um, it, it's, it's, it's a full time job, you know, and it's going to also show forth in certain things, you know, like when we're out in our everyday walk, you know, we just look like regular guys and people may be having conversations or bring up certain things in conversations. And then, you know, we may overhear it. And pick up on it, and then they look at us weird, like, damn, how you know so much about this topic or that topic, and so on and so forth. And then they just don't realize that we're very well versed in a lot of things. You know, people get caught off guard about, you know, even us going into history about a lot of things. You know, they're like, damn, how y'all know these things? Well, that's because, you know, being occupied and, and, and searching out these uh, these things, you know. Okay. Uh, hey, let, me, let me read one more. But real, real quick before you read on, that's a good point because I remember um, a couple of weeks ago at camp, that actually happened when, um, when that one guy came up to camp. And he asked a couple of questions, and I remember I remember Ashra speaking, and and the, and that brother went, you know, he went into a, a lot of deep a lot of deep subjects, and you know, the man that was listening and asking him questions, he was like, oh wow, these men know they're like you said, well versed, and and a lot of, and a lot of different subjects in the world, and you wouldn't think so by looking at us, but guess what, brothers are occupied, you were occupied in the work of the Lord, that's why. Go ahead, bro. Hey, Con. Uh... Just one more little quick precept on uh, Sirach, uh, chapter 36. Um, let me read uh, from verse uh, 11 down to 16 real quick. It says, Gather all the tribes of Jacob together, and inherit them. Inherit thou them as from the beginning. O Yahweh, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name, and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest, and fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles, and thy people with thy glory. Mm -hmm. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning, and raise up prophets that have been in thy name, and reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. So again, you know, reading in this here, um, just this short little passage here, you know, the Lord clearly uh, uh, set forth a, um, you know, like they put out a job posting or, or whatever. It says, uh, gather all the tribes of Israel. You know, that was, that was a task at hand. All right, then he, he raised up the prophets that that were from beforehand, all right, and gave them the testimony to go forth and, and to prophesy and, and to gather all the tribes of Israel. All right, in the last verse, verse 16, it says, it says, reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. 
you know, and to translate that in a, a carnal sense, like in today's terms, you know, it's just like, you know, if, if you go to a job, you know, and you're contracted out to do a work to build a house, let's say, and, uh, you know, the, the, the person that's in charge leaves and comes back and he notices that the job isn't done. It's like, yo, y'all are right where I started it, you know, when I left, you know, nothing's been done. I'm not going to pay you for these things. But if that contractor leaves and comes back and sees that the job is done, okay, good job. You get paid, you get rewarded for that their job, you know. So want to bring that out just to show forth is you know being occupied in this thing is so it's it's like a full time job, you know. This is where we have to uh, uh, put our uh, you know our main focus at, you know. But go ahead, brothers. Yeah. Um, uh, this is uh, Mark chapter thirteen. Verse 34, it says, uh, For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants, and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Right? So, you know, going into uh, the outside, you know, he's, where is he at? He's on the right side of the Father. So, you know, him being in the heavens right now, he gave every man his work, you know, going into, again, the order of things, how we have apostles and elders and teachers, right, as far as the, you know, the doctrine goes. So it's not blasphemy, you know. <clears throat> so our, our work is to prophesy, you know, because they're going to uh, what uh, John 10 chapter, it goes into Yahweh Shai, you know, saying, I'm the good shepherd, right? And the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep, you know. So ultimately, you know, like, you know, going to a ship, you know, the success of the ship depends on the captain. Because you think about a uh, sheep, they're, they're flocking animals, you know, so they follow a leader. So our people need a leader. Because it says in um, Isaiah 53 chapter, it says, We all like sheep have gone astray, every man his own way. You know, so, you know, this gathering by the word, okay, is, you know, uh, going into our job, you know, faith coming by here. So if nobody's prophesying, how can faith be on the earth? You know, these men that uh, the, the, the Lord's dealing with, they're prophesying. You know, and that's why, again, ultimately, this is going into our life, how important God is, because this is a big part of the Lord's story, how, you know, again, this gathering of the word of the great people on the earth is being by, being professed by the words of the Abbas Shai, right? But uh, that was the piece this is uh, St. Matthew's 24 and uh, verse St. Matthew's 24 and verse 42 uh, pretty much like saying with uh, what the brother going into but just reading down a little bit more St. Matthew 24 and verse 42 it says watch therefore for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come you know and that's why I just keep saying uh, also in the New Testament um, you know that be, you know the scriptures say uh your Lord doth come as a thief in the night, you know. So I don't have to warn you of these things because we already know what how the Yahweh Shai is coming. And that's why the scriptures will speak about you know watching as well as praying. Because if the spirit of, of, of Yahweh Shai is on you, you're going to be occupied with the prophecies, man. You're going to be locked in into what's taking place around the world. What's the events that Yahweh Shai said is going to happen back up by the prophets, okay? He said he come to not he come not to destroy the law or the prophets, but to fulfill it. So you you're going to be watching things that's taking place across the four corners of the earth and, and seeing how it ties into his his return. You know, it says uh, verse forty three. But know this that if the good man of the house had not known and what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Verse 44, therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Then it says, be ready. And that's why in Revelation uh, it speaks about, blessed is he that keepeth his garments, all right, because I come as a thief, lest he walk naked. And that's not talking about a, a, a literal being naked. That's talking about being a, a naked of the, the fact that you have to outside. Okay, it's, it's real, man. He's here. He exists. Yeah. As I was going to say, you know, it goes into how important it is for leadership for our people. Because it says in Isaiah, it says, people cause them to err. You know, because again, our people being likened them onto sheep, they need they need true leadership. So John 10 chapter, right? He was going to those hirelings that see the wolf coming, and they're going to flee. You know, the wolf coming is Esau. Okay, you know, him putting out this chip, you know, and, and trying to chip all our people, you know, to where we're going to be cut off and destroyed. If nobody's watching these things, watch this man. This man's gonna over 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 uh, do prophecy. Right. 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 And, right. and real quick, as the brother said, the wolf coming, and the highlands gonna leave. So here it is now. You saw an individual recently just, you know, had the back saying it's not gonna be no Jacob's trouble. Cause why? He see the wolf. 
he, he, he see the direction that this place is going into. Obviously, he see that show coming. That's why he backtracked and said that I said it, it, we wasn't in Jacob's trouble now, but there is going to be a time of Jacob's trouble. Because why? He sees the trouble coming. All right? He sees the trouble coming. Because it, it, it's, it's trouble coming. Everybody can see. You know, the, the, the future is not too promising. Elder Apostle, the hardest did a lesson today, the grinding shall cease. Grinding cease, and that's the time of trouble. That's that, because why? You, w without work, you can't put a, a food on the table. Without work, you can't keep a roof over your head. All right? Without work, you can't put clothes on your back. Yeah. You know? So we, we see. It's, it's, time, it's clearly a time of trouble coming, man. Okay? And it's up it's up for us to warn. That's why we always go into, that'll never get old to me, going to Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all because why? It's happening right now as we speak, man. What do you mean? So we have to keep warning you. Every day, we, we bring out the mark of the beast. Every day, a brother, you can do a lesson on the mark every single day. Because why? Something is happening. Something is on that path of that prophecy every day. Okay? Every day there's an article coming about how uh, uh, people can't return back to work. All right? Uh, 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 everybody should switch to Bitcoin. All right? It, it, it's out there. So you can do a lesson every day concerning the mark of the beast, man, which is the RFID chip. It's coming. It's here. All right? I got a quick precept. This is uh, Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So when we come out, we make these lessons. We speaking to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and also the Israelite foreigners that may look like the other nations scattered throughout the world. This is for you. All right? This word that we bring is for you, man. It says, therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. So we have a boss, man. An austere boss at that. The austere, what, what that one servant said, he said, I knew that thou was an austere man. So I, 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 I hid the talent. So you knew you had an austere boss that wasn't playing no shit. But you went and uh, uh, was lax to days ago about it. You didn't move and, and push the word. So you you done. So what? We we are a watchman unto the house of Israel. We giving you warning from your house, watchman, you shy. Because why? He's the one... He's the power, the living power that's controlling and governing all the things that happen on the earth. Okay? Verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Did not Paul say, woe is me if I preach not the gospel? Okay, so if you ain't doing this work, all right, and you able body and, and, and you receive talents, all right, talents is a representation of knowledge because not every brother gonna be on the same level as knowledge. Some brothers gonna know a little bit more about the scriptures than others, all right. Well, if you able body and you receive a portion of the spirit, a portion of this knowledge, okay, if you're not preaching this word, if you're not being occupied in this word and actually warning the flock, giving them food convenient. Okay, you are going to die, man. Not only is the wicked going to die, but you are going to die. Their blood is going to be counted for your hands because you wasn't out there to warn them. Okay, so we have a job. The mark of the beast is coming. Jacob's trouble is coming. The time like no other is coming, man. Sedition is coming. Mm -hmm. All right. We will prophesy it's happening right now. The, the, the latest uh, incident in Texas. Okay, people's power were are, are literally cut off on them. The storm didn't cut out the power; they cut off the power. All right, and that's a test run for what's going to happen throughout all of America. Elder Tahar prophesied it uh, a month or two back. Prepare your minds, because blackouts is coming. There is a blackout in Texas. They literally cut off their power, man. Done. You know. So it ain't like it ain't like this is some conspiracy. 
they coming out saying they giving you an excuse on why they cut out the power saying oh if we don't cut out the power then we're going to risk our whole uh, power grid from being cut off so they let you know yeah we cut it off but it was for this reason you know they lying to you at the end of the day but it let you know like look and we we finna cut off your power too for whatever reason but we gonna cut your power off. we gonna give you a reason but we cut off your power man you know See Matthew's 20, uh, 24, verse uh, 45, it says, Then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord have made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season. Yep, so there's, there's a reward coming. The Lord made us ruler over his household, and what? And if we occupy, if, if we stand upon our watch, you got to look at it. Really put your mind into this truth, man. The Lord has given you a position, all right, to hold. You have to hold that position, okay, until he comes back. So who then is that wise and faithful servant? So the Lord gave you a lot, a position to hold, and you can, you have to stand upon your watch, all right, even unto death. If, if, it, if it consists of you losing your life, man, because why at the end of the day, we hold a testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. The testimony was the spirit of prophecy. And as we can see, the persecution is coming. Elder Ron Bobbins did a video today. The word is out. They, they say, oh, black Hebrew Israelites, they're getting more militant, man. All right, talking about we on some terrorist type shit. But everybody that knows we know we're nonviolent people, man. But what? We hold the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man, which is the prophecy. And we got to hold that testimony until the end. Who then is that wise and faithful servant? You and that's you holding your faith, holding on to those wholesome words, those faithful words. Okay, unto death. The scripture say they shall deliver some of you up to the synagogues, and they shall ask of you a testimony. But be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. All right. Not when shit get hot, the, the heat get turned up. They demonize us, and oh, now you're not an Israelite no more. Oh, you don't believe in that no more. What's all they, they man? They took Yahweh Shai's words. They came up say this man said he would destroy the temples in the temple in three days and rebuild it. Even though Yahweh Shai was referring to um spiritual, talk about his body. All right, they took it physical. Said, Yo, this the man that said he was gonna destroy the temple. Now did Yahweh Shai re, uh, uh rebuttal on those words because they brought charges up on him concerning that? No, he stuck to those exact words. Because why? Ultimately, they're coming for the testimony. It's the truth, the testimony, the words that we speak. That's why they're coming at us. All right? Treason. It's called treason, man. That's why they're coming at us, because the testimony that we hold, man. Yeah, a, a, a so-called alien invasion is coming to destroy this uh, uh, destroy this kingdom, to take you out of rulership. America's going to be destroyed. Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed. Okay? That's the testimony we hold. We ain't doing it. But for the simple fact that we speak these words, go ahead. Yeah, bro. I was gonna say that just shows you know, we're going to cause effect. Uh, Esau is really, really going down deep to plot against what we're, what, what, what we believe in, you know, because he's put all this energy and effort and resources to come up against us, you know, because he knows ultimately in the spirit that this is the only way that we're gonna overcome. Because it says in Revelation 12 chapter, it says we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Exactly. They live not their lives unto death. So that's why he wants to take it from us because this is our ticket. All right, to get out of here, our, our fate. That's what he's designed to take that away from us. But the elect, you know, they're not going to be deceived and they're going to hold fast to him. You know? Go ahead, man. You got it, bro. This is uh, Psalm 24, verse 46. It says, Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. You know, so being like the brother said, even if, because, you know, the person is coming, and that's what's going to happen. Uh, uh, these guys out here that's uh, uh, feeding you this, this uh, baloney doctrine rather than sour doctrine, man. Because they're going to have to answer to the fact that why is the RFID to the Exactly. Okay. They're going to have to answer to the fact that what's going on. You told us that, you know, this, uh, I just seen the, the brother post in the WhatsApp a goddamn uh, Passover fashion show, man. You know, so they're going to have to answer for why, why, why is the Lord not being taken serious? You see, so this, and that's why in 2nd Ezra 16, around 74, says, then shall be known. Who are my chosen, and the Lord is going to try to do the fire. That fire, they shall be, they shall come out as gold, man. So the Lord 
it's going to be with this elect ultimately man but we got a whole post all right and real quick if i mean just real quick bro uh this word here conservative in the etymology uh, the word conserving it says have the power or quality of preserving from decay or destruction so the elect brothers have the power okay to keep constantly build rather than it decay, rather than seeing the found the foundation or the building of the tabernacle of uh, uh, decay or be destroyed we have the spirit we have the power or the quality to preserve it from decaying man we're conserving in the truth it says uh, a little bit more it says to keep preserve keep intact guard all right so we're guarded we're on our watchtower like the brother brought out in isaiah 62 and 6. we're standing upon our watch we're guarding all right being uh, uh, uh overseers over the top was the spirit they just, uh, overseers over man constantly day by day you see as we see the day approach uh, this is a uh, real quick matthew 10 and 22. uh matthew 10 and 22 and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake but he that endured to the end shall be saved. And we read earlier, I uh, forget which brother read it, about he that maketh mention of the Lord, uh, the keep, keep, not silent. keep not silent, man. Yeah. So if you're going to be hated for the Lord's sake, the reason why persecution is going to come to you is because you've been working, people see what the hell you've been doing. And they're going to be like, oh, this was this was this guy that's been making these like videos. Peter. Exactly, just like Peter did. You yeah. was one of them. Yep, because he was there with the outside of the work. Oh. Otherwise, worse, why are you gonna if you get persecuted and you haven't been doing this work, then that means you're just getting persecuted for wicked for, for your own bullshit. Yep. Okay? You're not getting persecuted for the Lord's sake. You know, because the scriptures talk about blessed is he who is persecuted for my name's sake. You know, kind of get that. Mm -hmm. Matthew 5 and verse 10. Yep. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Righteousness sake, for not making for not keeping silence, man. Or not, you know, because we can continue to make you know, make mention of the Lord because that's our duty, man. That's what the Lord has given us the unction to do. Okay, but it's good to talk about blessed is he who's persecuted for righteousness. As I say, because what we're doing is working, you know, going into our faith and chanting down this place. You know, this is really bothering Esau because it says in Isaiah 47 chapter, it says he's reading the multitude of his counsel, you know, so you know, there's a there's, there's, um. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they want to kill you, then you win. So now this man is going to try to come down with the sword because we're getting ready to win. You know, he's ultimately again, he's, he loses his mind. As the saying also it says, don't let them see you sweat. So he's not going to show you that he's bugged out. He's, he's terrified, he's scared because he can't show you that because ultimately he's a devil, he's a liar that the devil about speaks of. But know that this thing is really bothering him and how he has to bring it up to where now he's going to have to put his hands, try to put his hands on us, and that's ultimately that's his end, right? So that's he knows that you know he doesn't have time. That's why Revelation twelve and twelve always gets brought up, right? Since uh, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven, man. Those that are that are doing the the, the bidding of the Lord, man. You know, because that's what they're they're going to be rewarded. You know, for their labors. You know, that's the the fruit of their labors is. The the, lab, the fruit of the labor of the elect is going to be the kingdom of heaven, man. Being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, getting that crown by Yahweh Shai, man. That's 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 what you work towards. Run that no man, uh, you know, what does the scripture say? Uh, or uh, run that you may obtain the prize. Okay, what's the prize? We you, you ain't gonna see it on this side. If you're expecting some type of reward on this side, then you're doing it for the wrong things, man. And that's where you guys come in you know trying to make money and, and be the, all this and be that that's not what you're supposed to be doing for in this truth okay there's scriptures talk about uh you know uh, buy the truth sell it not we ain't doing this to, we ain't pushing this truth out to, to make a monetary gain from it man that's not what this truth is about, this truth is about uh doing the work of the lord so that he may reward us man Brothers have used the word acceptable a couple times today. Acceptable men are going to be tried in the furnace of adversity, man, but nonetheless, acceptable men. And how are you going to be tried if you're not doing that? You can't call yourself, oh, I made it onto the football team and you never even went to the tryouts. What did you do? Oh, you the coach, son. Well, that don't work. On, that don't fly on this side. Not even the outside. Man. Yeah, I wish I had to do his work. Okay, like Matthew chapter 10 says, the servant is not above his master. If they persecute Yahweh Shai, they're going to persecute you. 
And the reason they don't persecute you is because you're doing the work, just like how Shai was doing the work. He told his own parents, know you not that I'm about my father's business? Like, yo, I got, so I got work to do. I can't be worried about how you feel or this or that, man. We're out here to do the work of the Lord, man. That's point blank and period. If you, if, what's the whole duty of man? To fear the Lord and to follow his commandments. There's a, a special select of men, which are the prophets who the Lord has revealed his secrets onto. And you ha and those men have a little bit more to do. Their job also includes to warn the people. And that's what this still fall, falls under the, the, the following the, of the commandments. But the, the, the elect have different, have an additional commandments than the rest of the, the, the Israelites, the rest of the, uh, the two thirds. Because the two thirds, they, their job is to be a two third right now. That's their job, and guess what? They're doing it. Esau's job is to be the sword, and guess what? He's doing it. So if, you, if you've been given this knowledge, what are you, why aren't you doing the work? Everybody else is doing what they're supposed to be doing. The work, the birds wake you up every morning. Okay? You see the 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 the, the, the crows doing what they're supposed to be doing. You see the crabs doing what they're supposed to be doing. You see Esau doing what he's supposed to be doing. What's your excuse? Why can't you do what you're supposed to do? I don't see the way my bank account is set up. Nah, man, <laughs> all that, that bullshit. The, the hell with your excuses, man. Because guess what they mean at the end of the day? You, 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 uh, you don't give a damn about the Lord, man. That means, like, uh, like, uh, the parable where they one by one started making... I, I got it right here. All right, you got it? Yeah. Got it, go ahead. If I may. Um, the book of Luke, the 14th chapter, I'll start at verse 16. It says, And he said unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, this is Yahweh's words, and sent his servant at supper time to say unto them, or say unto them that were bidden, Come, for all these things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs to go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And that that actually reminds me of, of, of that dude up in Detroit. Because I, I remember he said that. That one dude, um, he, he had bought land, and he's like, I got stuff to do. I got I bought a house. And he had never made a video again. It says, um, verse 19, it says, And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee that I, have, that I be excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his lord these things, and the master of the house, being angry, said unto the servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed, and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. Verse 23, And the lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compelled them to come in, that my house may be filled. And that's what we're doing. All right? The Lord asked us to do this. We're going out on the highways and hedges that, so that the Lord's house may be filled. We don't have no excuse. All right? We we all can make up anything we want to make up. Oh, I got I to gotta work. I got to work on the weekend. Oh, I got to, you know, oh, you know, yeah, I don't feel good. My stomach hurts. You know, or, or you can make any excuse in the book. And people are doing that. All right, people are doing that on, on a daily basis, and what you know, other you know, these other different alphabet camps. All right, there's one excuse after another for for not serving the Lord. All right, uh, there's always something else that's more important in this world rather than serving Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. And brothers have been doing this for years without taking breaks, years without taking breaks, and we got to come up with any excuse. But no, we we you know, brothers through the Spirit and power Yahweh Bashim Yahusha and Lord willing. Yahweh Shimi Al Shai continues to keep the spirit on us to serve him as we are doing, and even better, even even more so as, as we continue to get closer to the end. But this isn't anything we chose to do. This is something that that's already in us through the spirit. And there is no excuse for you not to serve the Lord, especially after you've you found out the truth. Here it is, you got all this beautiful knowledge, all this deep, dark wisdom, and, and you're just gonna hold it to yourself, or 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 worse. You're just gonna you're gonna take it for granted, and ultimately forget about it, to go into the world and go back into the world and serve your own belly. The Lord's gonna have judgment for you. The Lord's gonna judge you heavily for that. We're in a time of heavy judgment. You see the things happening in the world right now. 
You got people freezing to death in Texas. Freezing to death. Dying of exposure. These things are happening every day. Imagine freezing to death in your car. Imagine that. That's judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. These are the things happening here in, in Babylon. You know, this week. All right. This isn't just some ancient history. No, these are the things happening in a couple of days ago. And I, and these people, these are Jakes. A lot of them are Jakes. Some of them are Edomites and, and such and such. But, you know, we're speaking to you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. This word is for you. And you want to do this and that in the world. And the brother brought up, oh, you know, you know, the Passover thing. You know, uh, you you know, have a fashion show with the Passover. You're not you're not even considering the Lord. You're not even considering what the Lord is is is, is requiring of you. This is all it's all about you and in your personal gain. That's why the Lord is bringing judgment to the world. There is no excuse. We all got to we all got the word. We all got the instructions. Now it's time to show and prove. Are you really about this truth? Or are you about? Are you about something else? You're either in, or you're not. All this riding the fence shit, the Lord ain't with it. That's why the Lord say, "You go if you look warm, you're gonna spew you out." All this riding the fence shit, this is this is gonna cut it. You know, oh, you know, yeah, I, I believe, but yeah, you know, I, you know, I ain't really, you know, I ain't trying to really do all that. I got things to do. Yeah, I'm trying. I, I got, I got to get this money. That's if that's if that's the mindset you want, then the Lord's gonna gonna confound you all all your plans. As we get closer and closer to the end of this thing. And I'm saying that as serious as I can. Because that's a lot of a lot of Jakes are really in that mindset right now of just serving their own belly. You brothers got it though. Yeah, I got a quick one real quick. <clears throat> um, you know, just to add on to what you, you were going into, you know, Ezekiel thirty four goes a lot into that. But I'm gonna read uh Ezekiel thirty four, I'm gonna start at verse one and read through three. It says, And the word of Yahweh came unto me saying Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, saying, uh, uh, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, power unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with wool. You kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. And, you know, and going further into this, just like the brothers was going into, you know, you have. You know, uh, some of these uh, uh, guys in these camps uh, uh, that's going out here and have your minds occupied on the wrong things like fashion shows. You know, you're feeding your own belly, but you're not really, you know, like I said, you can read the whole chapter. But <clears throat> I'll read uh, a little bit of verse four it says the disease. Have you not strengthened? Either have you healed that which was sick? Either have you bound up that which was broken? Neither have you brought in again that was driven away. Neither have you sought that which was lost. But with force and cruelty, have you ruled, ruled them? You know, so we're in a time now where we're, you know, we're dealing with the valley to dry bones. Our people don't really know too much of things. You know, this is why we have to uh, make our bodies living sacrifices, go into a lot of these uh, uh, articles and prophecies and precepts and then, and, 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 you know, break it down and, and into milk to, to feed our people. All right. To, to educate our people on these things and how to, uh, like the scripture say, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that time. So how are our people supposed to know these things if they're just but babes? You know, you got to sit there and feed them. All right, but then you have these other camps and, and these other groups that are more focused on bizarre things. Here we go. You know, we, we didn't have just went through 2020. We're looking at 2021 and seeing what's going on with that. You know, you got the Passover coming up, and then you have, you know, these other groups or these other shepherds out here talking about fashion shows, you know, trying to be in the spirit of mercy and things like that, man. When these are the dire times when prophecy is speaking loud and clear, man. All right, you know, but the Lord has a controversy against you, you know, because, look, at a time when a sheep is it, the most, dire time for the sheep, you know, for you to, to, to look after them, you know, may, you know, just to give an example, like in the summertime, it may be fine to just kind of like, you know, take your eye off them for a second, they're not going to really get harmed, but it's in the middle of a dead winter in a blizzard, and you decide to take your eye off the, the sheep, or in the middle of a hurricane, you decide to take your eye off the sheep then, that's the most time you should focus on them when danger is right there uh, uh, in the face of the sheep, man, and we see that these last prophecies are, are coming to play, man, so now more than ever, we should be really up on top of these things. And, and, and mining after the sheep, you know, more and more people are waking up. The market of beasts is being more prevalent and, and more pronounced. You know, they're uh, rushing out these jabs and everything like that. And there's a lot of questions going on amongst our people, man. So we shouldn't be focusing on, on fashion shows and things like that, man, but feeding the sheep. All right. That's all I got, brother. This is, um, we'll close out on this unless, uh, you got something. I don't. Go ahead. Uh, 
Um, let me find it first. Okay, here it is. This is Nahum chapter 3 and verse 5. Nahum chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, Behold, I am against thee. It's talking about the well-favored harlot, which is uh, America. It says, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdom thy shame. And I will cast abominable filth, abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile and will set thee as a gazing stock. Okay, so how's the Lord uh, revealing the, this, uh, the war, man? How's the Lord lifting up the skirts? It's through his prophets. Because the Lord has revealed unto us, like, look, you see that hole over there? That bitch done had it all. She done had chlamydia. She had this. this. She's playing this dude like that. And this other person. And we know we got the inside scoop. So now we're telling everybody that we can. Every place we go, hey, look out for this whore right here, man. So that, how else is this place going to get exposed unless those men that have the secrets go out there and tell people, man? Okay, lest our people, because we, we, what we trying to, what we've been telling uh, the people, just like the scriptures talk about, be sober, be vigilant, because the devil, the ad, or your, your adversary, the devil. Uh, seeking who seeketh who he may devour some of that roughly paraphrasing, you know. But hey, it being sober, being vigilant, okay, mean being on your on your toes, man. Being clear minded, knowing what you what you what to do and how to do it, okay. Watching, reading, okay, doing all these things so that this place can be revealed and, and the Lord can come back and judge you, man. Okay, because the more the more this uh, this horror gets exposed, the more she's gonna kick and, and, and scream. Okay, because that's what that's what that's the the nature of a woman when she's in the wrong, she's trying to make you look bad, and that's what she that's what we're getting ready to do, man. And how are we gonna how how are we gonna push this devil to do what he needs to do if we just sit around like a church uh, church house mouse? Okay. You can't. She ain't gonna. Every she gonna be like, oh, nobody's seeing me, because nobody's exposing her. But the Lord has select men that are out here exposing this for, letting people know who, who, you know, what's going on. And people are starting to wake up to see, like, oh shit, this that bitch is filthy. I have been drinking uh, from that cup of wine that she been giving me. Shit, now you looking, now you looking at this. Now the world is looking at uh, this whore kind of strange, man. But I don't know about her, man. Maybe them dudes are right. But that and that's the time that we're coming into. Okay? We're gonna come in time we're gonna come to the time of of uh what's that, uh Ezekiel thirty three and thirty-three. Then shall they know that a prophet has been amongst them. Okay, that's the time period we come. How are they gonna know how are people gonna know that you was a prophet when you wasn't saying nothing? The word prophet means to say before. So how are you a prophet <laughs> but you ain't you ain't doing nothing? You ain't even you ain't even talking. Well, you ain't out there in the in the weekend week out. You don't do your videos, you know. And, and in your daily walk, you ain't you ain't that. You ain't doing the job of a prophet, man. But but you calling yourself a prophet? You show the law to all my other fellow fellow laborers, but you ain't laboring. Hmm. What do you how should I say? Who is my brother? Who is my mother? Who is my sister? Who is my father? But he that doeth the will of my father is the same as my mother, my brother, my sister, and the rest. He that doeth the will of my father, okay? And the will of the Heavenly Father is for this place to, uh, to get condemned, two-thirds of our people to uh, get judged, and to see the words of the Lord play out. That's the will of the Father. you got to figure out where, you're, where you fit in on, in that plot. And that's between you and the most high. Anything else, bro? Anything else I came out there? Negative. No, nah, that's it. Okay. All right, so with that, we want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, The one I said, the eldest apostles of Great Millstone, the much blessing and citations of the Akim around the four of the earth were diligently pushing out his truth and his truth in the city. You know, and then, hey man, you know, the doors are closing quick, man. So if you figure, if you trying to figure things out, hey, you best to move quick, man, because those, that those doors is about to close, and once they're closed, there ain't no coming in. 
there ain't no trying to figure things out when these doors are closed. Because once those doors close, hey, like my mom used to tell me, you're going to be sleeping outside with the dogs. Mm. <laughs> once some doors are closed and your ass ain't inside, you're sleeping outside with the dogs. So, hey, get on point, man, because the Lord, behold, I come quickly. Okay? And like your brother right earlier, no one the hour where the mess is. All right, you know, and, 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 you know, just real quick before we close too, you know, there's the, the whole thing in uh, the Old Testament, I forget where, about the, the harlot, where she's, uh, she's looking, she's looking for the guys that are, they're, they're traveling, saying the good master is at home. Yeah, that's Proverbs. Proverbs. Yeah, Proverbs. That, that's, that's, that's what this whore is trying to do, man. This whore is trying to keep you off your post, you know, trying to tell you, oh, the good man ain't coming, ain't in bad time, so come, day, come lay down with me for a little bit. Ah man, I gotta be out here doing my thing, man. I gotta get, I gotta do, get the spiritual shekels, man. All right. So hey, don't fall for the trick. You know, don't fall, don't, don't fall into the the trap of the world and serve the heavenly Father, man. That's your ability. So with that, we say shalom. Shalom.